Thanks so much for joining us here on Good Morning Vale on this chilly morning. Now, if you're thinking about hitting the slopes and you're coming up from a lower altitude and you're worried about your oxygen, we have a simple solution for you. And joining me now in the studio is Rob Nooner with Boost Oxygen. How are you today? Very good, thank you. Now, talking about coming up from the low altitude, you're a sea level guy. You came up from Connecticut. From Connecticut yesterday. Yeah. Okay, and a lot of times they tell you, go to Denver for a few days, then come up here. But not everybody can do that. That's right, that's right. Is that um, what you did? No. I came straight up. Uh, I, I flew into Denver yesterday, and I drove, drove straight up. Okay, and, so you uh, got like 8,000 feet. <laughs> that's right, right. I, I went from uh, 30 feet above sea level to 8,000 feet. Uh, <laughs> so are you feeling good? I feel great. Okay, feel and great. did you use some boost oxygen I've on been, your way? Uh, I'm on my second can this morning. Okay. And uh, it, it definitely helps with altitude sickness. It's mm -hmm. uh, um, Basically, altitude sickness is something that uh, occurs with lack of oxygen in the blood. Mm -hmm. uh, there's 21% oxygen in the atmosphere at sea level. Mm -hmm. There's 18% oxygen in the atmosphere up in Vail, okay. uh, above 7,000 feet, uh -huh. and that's roughly 14% less oxygen than people are normally used to, yeah. and then you get hypoxia, <laughs> uh, and uh, so only about 30% of the population gets hypoxia at that sea level. What's um, hypoxia? Hypoxia. Uh, it's, it's lack of oxygen in the blood. Okay. Um, that's also, when you get sick? That's altitude sickness. Okay. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it, you can get sick. You get uh, symptoms very similar to a hangover. Mm -hmm. uh, you get headaches, nausea. Uh, it usually happens the first night with lack of sleep, um, irritability, the whole... Uh, it's such years. a bummer when you come out here and you save your money to come on this big ski vacation and then something like that happens. Right. Now, you created this company, so how come you did that and when did you do it? Uh, we started the company about five years ago. Okay. Uh, we, I used to be, actually, in a, in a previous life, uh, importing beer mm -hmm. uh, from Europe. Oh, and, uh, I get how it's worked <laughs> out. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, but I sold the company and I had a non-compete and mm -hmm. I was looking for something to do another opportunity mm -hmm. and uh, I had dinner uh, with my best friend and he did business in Germany and there's these oxygen cans over in the hotels there mm -hmm. that he would use okay. um, these are also in the Czech Republic uh, not my company but yeah. uh, other competitors mm -hmm. and uh, we decided to research uh, the viability uh, of oxygen in the United States and uh, saw that really no one did it uh, and it took two years for us to manufacture the product Oh, yeah, there you go. And here you are using it up in Vail, right? That's so, right. So you found this to be really effective for hot, for not getting altitude sickness. Yes. Is there anything else that oxygen is good for? Um, well, it's great for hangovers. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's great for any aerobic sport, uh -huh. uh, cycling, football. You'd see football players on the sideline using it. Right. Um, anything that robs your oxygen of blood. If you have a low mm -hmm. blood oxygen saturation, uh, using supplemental oxygen brings that back up, makes you feel immediately better. Okay. Well, I think people are going to be really happy about this because it's a pretty new product and a lot of people are drinking so much water when they get up here and they're kind of realizing that this is not making me feel good either. Right, right. So this is a quick fix to feeling better when you're up here in the high altitude. And if I'm going to go out on a snowshoe today, maybe I should take one of these, right? There you go, there you go. Well, most people from the flatlands get more affected by altitude sick. But yeah. if, you know, if you're going up to 14,000 feet, it'll definitely help you as well. Okay, will it help me run faster? Uh, no, oh, no, but it, it, it'll, help you, it'll, it'll help you feel better. <laughs> okay, it'll help um, me feel better. If you, get, if you become oxygen depleted. Yeah, and you can buy these all around the Vail Valley. Valley, right? That's right. That's right. We have them uh, in various hotels. We have mm -hmm. them in uh, Charlie's Tees. We, Sports Authority is picking us up in Westvale. Oh, good for uh, you. I'll be up there, awesome. uh, I think, in a couple of weeks. Good. And uh, you have many places, uh, a lot of gift shops and ski shops and um, all around the Vale Valley and all throughout the Rockies. So how, okay, we, we, we talked to one of your associates last week, but he didn't show us how exactly you use this. This okay. thing, like, you can carry it when you're skiing. It's so light. Will yeah. you real quick show us how to use it, Rob? Sure. Rob um, Nooner is with Boost Oxygen. <laughs> We're going to be giving away some oxygen later on in the show. But right now, let's see how we use this. And uh, thank you so much for coming in today. No problem. Thank you. Um, very easy. You just uh, press the trigger, put it up to your mouth. <laughs> and inhale. And that's it? That's it. Breathe into your lungs. Does it taste funny? Uh, we have flavors, but this is natural. This has no flavor. Um, oxygen is, is uh, tasteless and odorless. Okay. Um, you can also put it through Up in your, your nose, nose. Okay. whatever you want to do, however right. you feel better. However um, it's going to make you feel better. Rob Nooner from Boost Oxygen, okay. thank you so much you for coming much. in today. Yeah, it was a pleasure it. to meet you. I can't wait to try that stuff out, and I can't wait to have my visitors try that out. Right, right now we're going to head back up to Beaver Creek. Talk about high altitude. Trisha's up there. I bet she could use a little boost. Good morning, Trisha.